Before we begin, please be sure to check out pdcdostore.com to grab yourself some codes to be able to build this very deck. Of course, use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout and enjoy the video. Yes, unfortunately, I am still ill, but we power through it and we're going to keep posting these wacky and creative decks. And today is no misconception. This one is definitely a wacky one and one that I can't wait to show you. So let's understand, understand, understand. I understand already. Do you hear me? You need to understand it. I don't know why I got so aggressive with you. Like, I apologize. I'm sorry. My head hurts. We are looking at Radiant Blast toys and having it being the solo only attacker in the deck. We want to use this card six times over. So how are we doing that, Shawnee boy? Well, we have Nessa put up to four in any combination of water Pokemon and water energy from your discard pile into your hand, which works perfectly with the Blastoise being a water Pokemon itself and having a free energy attack cost. So honestly, perfect numbers for the Nessa. So how, how, how is this all functioning? Well, we have the Barrel Engine for draw. We have Lumillion to help us find readers in the deck for the early turns. We have Clara as well. And then we have Frostmoth, the big, big part of the deck here. When we are using this Blastoise, we can recover it from the discard pile, have a Frostmoth in the active with an air balloon attached, and just bench the Blastoise and just attach the energy and rinse and repeat. So Blastoise is going to be our main attacker. So what does it do? Well, it has the pump shot attack. Discard a water energy from your hand and put it into your discard pile. Put two damage counters on any of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Really, really good with just softening some big boys up, which is always nice to see. And that Torrential Cannon for 170 damage. So you know you're hitting some good numbers here. Articuno is in this deck as well. Just to boost it up to 180, of course, we're going to be coming up against Crobats here and there. So it's always nice to just get a 1-8 KO on that if it's possible. And yes, I know I said Blastoise is technically the only attacker, but come on, have I got an opportunity to hit a bench? We're going to go and do it. We have Lapras with the Splash Arch in here as well, being able to do 100 damage to the bench. And it actually synergizes really well with the numbers here. 170 with a Blastoise or 180 with Articuno. Kuno, and then if they go retreat to the bench, we can hit 100, and that obviously adds up to, uh, to 280 damage. And then even with the Radiant Blastoise ability, that can go to 300, 320. That's if they are afraid and they do run away. But if not, then we just recover the Blastoise and hit him again for the two-hit KO. So this Lapras just adds an additional depth to the deck that I really, really like. Honestly, I, th I think that's all that needs to be said. Let's go into the next game before I, I, I pass out. <laughs> all right, we're going second this time. We're playing Arceus Pika. That's bad. That's bad, unfortunately. This this is just not a good matchup for us. We're, we're a solely basic attacking deck. Uh, we do have escape ropes to work around the Pika. Um, that's the only thing we really have going for us. There's the Lapras and stuff that can hit it on the bench. So there is things we can do, right? <laughs> it's just it's just very, 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 very sketchy. <laughs> that's all. Right, I've got to think about my hand here. So we're going to go ahead. Obviously, we need to get a snom down there's no doubt about that no 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 we'll get a badoof down actually and then we can get snom with a reader and a okay no evil incense this time around that's fine we're just ultra ball just so we can get ourselves a badoof um and we'll we'll poke we'll poke this bad boy all righty and i think i'm going to pass do I attach? I'll attach. I'll attach. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. That's not that bad. Right, so I think we've just got to try and get a Blastoise hit on this card um, before it gets going, which is not is, is, is a bit of a difficult job. Um, and then hopefully thin it down enough where Lapras can deal with it and just get it out, get it, get it gone on the bench, you know? That's the idea, at least. Also, don't know if this is just straight Arc Pika. Obviously, we see this, so they've probably got a Crobat VMAX, I'd expect. Or something down that line, or maybe they're playing something else. You know, they could be going for an Arceus Dark Cry for all that. <laughs> you never know any Arceus decks, do you? You never do. You know, it's the wrong bottle. This is the one. Hydration. Keeping it going. Keeping it moving. Okay. Um. All right. Still not terrible. Definitely going to charge up this Pika now, aren't they? That's for sure. But it gives us a potential Lapras hit turn. You know, it does. But I would like to get it into the active and hit it at some point. It's just one, one thing that's really difficult with this deck. And I'm actually just thinking about cutting it straight. A boss's orders. You're, there's a lot of times where you're just not playing it. Because the loop in the deck is Radiant Blastoise gets KO'd and you Nessa. Or you Clara. Which means you're playing supporter for turn. 
it's actually very unlikely that you do see the chance to not play any of those supporters. It's actually very rare. Um, so there's that, and I'm like, ooh, maybe cross switches then, or maybe Pokemon catchers. Not ideal, um, but definitely something to bear in mind. Right, they are not going for the Pika. They are going for the Crobat, which means they probably don't. They've probably prized their lightning energy. Either way. All right, mate, don't bother me. Don't bother me at all. Let's get another Bidoof down. Ah, this sucks. We've got, we've got the Nessus perfect for what we need. But no, 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 no. We're going to thin down. Thin the bad boy down. Get ourselves... Do we, do we start getting the Lapras out now? Articuno. Bring that to 180. Doesn't change much. Well, it does, actually. That can let us get a Lapras KO. So maybe I just go for the Articuno now. Hmm. I have to Arita for an Ultra Ball here. Didn't realize that. Which means we're going to have to get rid of Manaphy. Right. Frostmoth. Ultra Ball. That's the play. Get rid of these two. Good barrel. Do we have Capacious Bucket? Yeah. We have enough energy to attack as well. We need some luck. Some serious luck. But we can try. We can try. Let's go ahead and go for the scissors. See what they give us. Any luck? No. Unfortunately not. One energy away from an attack. That sucks. That really hurts. Man. That hurts. Alright. It is what it is. Unfortunately. Gonna have to give them the snom. And just pass. That sucks, bro. One energy. So, oh. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. The game's the game, innit? The game is the game. But if I could just get a nice 180 on here, finish it off. No, they're going straight for the Crobat. I wonder if they're going to go for the Stealth Poison. I don't, I, don't, I don't see a reason for them to do that, no? There's not really incentive, is there? We can Arena, which is nice. But I don't know how I feel about that. I'd rather not a read. <clears throat> Sorry, Luminian, not a read. Luminian. We could Luminian. I'd rather not Luminian, should I say. Another Arceus. They're going to go for Max Cutter, right? It's just straight raw damage output. Okay. No problem, mate. And I wouldn't be surprised if they got their lightning energy there. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at all. All right. Give me some love. All right. An energy I'll take. And I might have to save this Luminian. I don't want it in play yet. And we've got, we've got scissors. It's fine. This may be our boss opportunity, actually. <laughs> Funny enough, I sit there and go, you don't see much bosses in this deck. Boss is awesome. <laughs> okay, what do I boss here? Do I boss the Pika? The Pika's actually the biggest threat, funnily enough. They're going to come up with that one point and just sort out the whole game, aren't they? I know exactly that. They're going to do that, bro. That's just going to happen, I can tell. I've got that feeling in my bones. Let's get the one energy left. Bloody hell. It, it's actually quite relevant. It does fix some numbers here. Because now they're at, uh, they're at 270. We hit them for 170. And then Lapras sorts them out for the 100. So it does actually work out, mathematically speaking. It's just not ideal. Um, level ball can get us... Okay, we could take another Frostmoth out into hand. I don't see why not. We'll retreat. Go for the boss. And we'll just hit the Pika. Is it too little too late for this play, though? That's what I'm trying to think. You know? We know it's got free retreat, whatever. That's fine. Perfectly fine. But at least it gives us that Lapras opportunity. You know? Lapras isn't in a discard pile, though, so we're going to have to find it raw. Oh, God. <laughs> there's, a, there's a chance to win here, but I'm just... I, I'm going to have to now bench Luminion, and that's the scary thing. That's the scary thing. Oh, Articuno, I thought you was Lapras, bro. Come on. You're going to do that to me? You're going to do me like that? Oh, okay. Bit barrel. I just need a quick ball. Oh, you tease. You tease. You give me a level ball? Oh, the tease. The Lapras is there, bro. Give me the quick ball, the ultra ball. The <laughs> oh, no. All right, it's fine. It's not the end. It's not the end. It isn't the end. We can still Nessa for a Blastoise and just reuse this energy. 
It's fine. I'm not a big fan of all my energy being in a discard pile, though. Don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I like a little bit more, a bit more movement with my deck, but it's fine. But we are working on a victory here. We, we actually are, which is interesting. And the Blastoise is doing a lot of the, a lot of the heavy lifting. See, now that is also Laprisable, so to speak. Um, that's great. 100 hit that. Take that out of Lapras. If that goes onto a bench, 120. If we just get a little pump shot in there, if we get some energy moving again, we just need that Lapras. We need some escape ropes. And we could be taking three, six prizes in two turns. That's, that's the potential behind this matchup right now. And we have to do it now. So it's now or never. Or we recover the blast. So you take the KO and find the Lapras for game, hopefully. All right. Heavy ball. You're not doing us any favors. Um, we know we're going to Nessa here, right? We know we have to. Oh, but what sucks? Oh, gosh. They've got boss, man. They're going to boss me for game. I can feel it. I can tell. They're just going to boss me. If I drop this. Oh, gosh. We need Lapras and Nessa. That's what we need here. The... Ah! Oh, it's still not the end. It's still not the end. It's still not the end. Okay. We just need... I need an Ultra Ball, please. It's still not the end, though. There's still a chance. Oh, my gosh. All right, we just take out the Crobat straight, right? We're just going to do that. Just take the Crobat, take those prizes. What's going to suck is if we brick our hand here, we are done for. I want to dig through my deck, bro. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Torrential Cannon, one hit KO. Just give me an Ultra Ball. All I need is an Ultra Ball. I need, I need, I need Ball Search. No, not you. I don't even know if I've got an Ultra Ball available. I don't. I just have a bunch of energy. Why? Why? Okay. What's mad is all I need is one more energy, and I think I have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think they've just given me game. If they don't search for a Manaphy, they have just given me game. And we have probably just beaten... Arceus Pikachu with a Blastoise deck. This may have just happened. <laughs> uh, this is why... Oh, they're going to get rid of the Frostmoth. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This is why I didn't want to bench the Luminium. They would have gusted it, KO'd it. Game. They're going to KO this. Bro, we've got this for boss. Please tell me I've got boss available. And if not, we still have... <laughs> Do I get a Lapras for the memes? I could Lapras for the memes. Do I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Lapras for the memes just to flex on them. I'm going to flex on them. Why not? <laughs> we have game. Oh, my God. Okay, Sean, slow down. Think. Okay, so we go ahead. We go and get the... Uh, oh, no, I can't do it because the thing's gone. What am I talking about? All right. I can't Lapras. I'm, I'm a dum-dum. I got excited. Leave me. Leave, leave it be. Okay, we're just going to boss his orders. Take the peeker out. And that is game. Beautiful stuff, man. Being able to beat an Arceus Pikachu with this deck is unheard of. <laughs> Absolutely unheard of. But we have pulled it off with one prize remaining. Absolutely nuts. Crazy stuff there, man. All right, here we are going second, playing the Reggies. Okay, uh, this is just going to be the simple single prize matchup, right? KO first wins, basically. <laughs> Gotta be wary of the bench, though. We know about the Reggie Lecky, what it can do. Um, so Manaphy's got to come into play at some point and the hand is a bit isn't looking good it isn't looking good we play four level ball four quick ball two ultra balls and we start with the one level so it's a bit of an unfortunate hand um, an unlikely one but we can still a reader for stuff so that's fine um, which is okay you know they're not going to pop off immediately so that's okay turn two though we know they can right we know how this deck operates All right here we go. Uh, let's level ball first, and we'll get ourselves... Do I get the Manaphy? I think I get the Manaphy. I am more worried about that Regilecki coming in and d d ruining my board state. Um, and we'll get a, f a Snom and a Quick Ball. That's what we'll do. There we are. And will this Blastoise be able to take a hit? Or do you know what? I kind of feel like going for the... Po let's do it! Let's poke stop. It kind of works in my favor there, funnily enough actually does. I, I think fun, Boss's Orders is actually the worst card in that. <laughs> and we get a Bidoof down. There we go. And we will go for 
the... We're one KOing everything anyway, but... Articuno hits 110, so we could bring these bad boys down where we can, right? So, don't see why not. Let's go for Torrential Cannon. So, Pump Shot. And let's just Pump Shot this bad boy. This is going down anyway. And then we can just attach and hope that's it. Next time we've got Luminion available. So we can Arida. I have made a slight change actually, just to note. We can Arida next turn for... I've put in one Evo Incense. I had three Ultra Balls, but I've gone down to two and one Evo Incense. Because I really like being able to Evo Incense for a Barrel and a Frost Moth in literally in one go. And not have to worry about discarding cards from hand with Ultra Ball for that. Or having two little cards in hand. Because sometimes you can have that. Um, so I've gone and made that change for that purpose. But I'm now glad I dropped the mana fee because I would be surprised. There you go. The Reggie Lecky is the one they're going to go for. Obviously, it's the speed energy that made them go for that attachment there. But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they went for that. Not at all. Because they could just go target this, target this, and then our board is ruined. So, really glad we got the mana fee down. Although it does suck that we're going to have to now lose it, I expect. What do we do here? What do we put forward? They're both so critical. I'm going to put the Mana Fee up. We can recover Mana Fee. There's so many options for Mana Fee recovery. We have Nessas, bro. Claras. There's loads of options for that. And it doesn't even go down. That's good news. All right. So there's a Lapras top deck. Um, honestly, not that bad of a shout. You know? It really ain't. That Lightning Weakness sucks, though. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I think we do that. I think we ditch the escape rope. We'll get Luminion. All right. Then we'll a reader. Now, I could guarantee the attack now. But I need consistency. So we're going to Frost Moth and we're going to Evo. Right? That's what I said. The Evo's been added. I could Capacious Bucket. But I'd rather draw into some cards here. Now, I can't play that switch just yet because I have attached for turn. Jeez, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have attached. Either way. Is what it is, isn't it? I'm going to bench the Lapras. Just to see more cards. And we're going to go for it in sizes. We just need an energy. And we get it. There we go. So, the Blastoise is already online, which is lovely. Love to see that. We're going to go for the Blastoise hits. And we're going to have to find, next turn, if they KO this, we're going to have to find ourselves a Nessa. That's something we're going to have to do. The Arena can guarantee us, oh no, can guarantee us a switch, but no retreat. That's something to bear in mind. Um, there's, there's ways, there's ways to, to reuse this Blastoise, because we've got to work around this Torrential Cannon, saying we can't use it next turn. Well, there's the workaround. Um, <laughs> you could take the, I, you could take, you could take Lapras. Take Lapras. That's fine. That's perfectly fine by me, bro. The Manaphy is staying put. Okay, <laughs> the Manaphy ain't going. All right, it ain't happening, Chief. Now we could just switch into this bad boy, take it out. Um, I would have loved, by the way, to have played Lost City with this deck, but we can't because we have only got the one Radiant Blastoise, and the whole point is to reuse the thing. So Lost City is actually the direct counter to this deck. Bear that in mind, huh? I'm going to play you just to thin you out. Yeah, I don't want you in my hand anymore. Um, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Let's Arida for... Do I escape rope? I think I escape rope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like the look of escape rope. I do like the look of air balloon, though. Air balloon gives me that security. Yeah, I think air balloon might be better, to be fair. Oh, but I like the idea of later taking this out with a Lapras, you know? Uh, I think it's fine, isn't it? I don't think it's that big a deal. Do I get you? Ah, oh, screw it. Let's do it. Let's just thin out. Yeah, okay. We'll go for... We'll pump shots. Do I? I could attach here. No, we'll pump shot. And we'll just go ahead and go for... I think the one card they're too afraid to attack with is the Reggie Gigas. We'd have to hit that three times, though, before we can one it KO that with a Lapras. Or is anything else? The Reggie Steel, they never use, right? So, Reggie Steel, we can just poke, I think. We'll do that for now. We can go ahead and Scissors now. 
That's fine. More energy. That's okay. Right. And we got Clara, so that's perfect. Now we just torrential cannon. We've taken those early prizes. That's massive. Now, if we could just reuse our Blastoise, that's it. That's it, right? As long as we can just find our Nessas, find our Claras, we reuse our Blastoids, it's okay. We could set up the one it KOs on, 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 these, on these Regis and stuff like that with Lapras. So if we do whiff a Blastoise and we still have energy to use, we can go with Lapras. That's perfectly fine. So I think we're in a very comfortable... Oh, I took that. They passed. Bro, hard times, man. Hard times. We got... <laughs> I'm going to go and hit that Reggie still. Oh, I was going to re manually retreat. I had, a whole, I had a whole game plan, man. Come on. Now, before we get into the next game, I'd like to thank the sponsor of the channel, Trust App. And the way they work is when you send your money to the person that is selling you the card, they will allow you 24 hours to check that what you got sent is exactly what you paid for and everything is fine and dandy. So if you want to make sure your transactions are safe when buying from strangers, click the link in the description down below. Thanks again for them sponsoring the channel. Let's go to the next game. All right, start. And again, here we're playing the Blissey. Okay, I'm interested to see how this one pans out. Um, I am worried about this Snom going down. I can't lie. It is concerning for me. We can go ahead and Capacious Bucket here. We have Nessa in hand, which is nice. Um, we're going to Ultra Ball these two away. And we're going to go for... Let's make sure I've got what I want in deck. I've got Evil Incense in deck. That's great. Frost Moths in deck. Absolutely lovely. I could go Ham here and get like another... Another Bidoof, maybe? Yeah. I could also Blastoise, I know. Um, but I want to... It's risky. It is risky. But I do want to just retreat that Snom there. I think that's something that I'm worried about. And we'll attach to the active here because, you know... Yeah, one thing I can, I have seen problems with this deck before when testing is the retreating it. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Should have known that. Um, is retreating it. Uh, yeah, see, now I'm very glad I did that because they're currently doing 50. That would have, 60. That's taken out the Snom. So I'm glad I retreated that because that would have been a real, real problem. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get Frost Moth and an Evo Incense. It's annoying that we've got two. Oh, no, maybe I should have got Ultra Ball there. Oh, I should have got Ultra Ball, so I could have just got rid of these two and thinned my hand down. Oh, well. It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and evolve this one, because it's no damage. And then see what we get here. No supporter to play. Just looking for cards. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Like that. Really like that. Um, I think... Well, Ness is going to give us everything we need next turn. Um, unless they Marnie us, and that could be a problem. Poking this doesn't seem to mean anything, though. Although, I'll poke it. Lapras can go ahead and snipe it with that damage on there. And we'll just pass. And next turn, we can just guarantee our Blastoise hit. Uh, promote the Frost Moth. Play the Nessa. Recover all the energy. Bang it all onto this. Go for an, for an extra pump shot. Oh, the Sharon's carrying it. <laughs> all right, fair play. Fair play. Um, oh, they're just not letting me put any damage on it. Okay, fine. Listen, I will just blast those my way through you, bro. That's gonna that's what you want. That's what's gonna happen, Chief. I've got a lot of a lot of good cards in hand already for it. So we're gonna go and do it straight away here. This is the maddest thing. This is all you really need is just these three cards. Obviously, you want to make sure your board state's a bit more, more safe, right? Um, which is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get not try, I'm going to get another Snom down because they probably I Oh, no, no Snom. All right, in that case, I'll get another... I'll get a Bidoof down. Fine. Because that's sake, they probably identified the problem. Please, all I need now, though, the final piece is a an air balloon. There we go. <laughs> yes. All right, lovely. Torrential cannon. Absolutely lovely stuff. And we can just... A reader for a switch next turn. Yeah, there we go. See, this is what I was saying in the last game. If they know they're losing, they're just going to scoop. So it is what it is. And if we're dominating like that, I don't blame. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, let's ultra ball this away. Get, the, 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 get rid of these two. And let's just get ourselves our, our, our little cheeky snom down. That's all right. And I'm going to just... Um, do I training court? No. I'm just going to pass. Um, this is one thing I was actually debating, right? The Arida, really good in the early games to get the Bibarel and the, uh, the Frostmoth out, right? So you can just get Frostmoth and then get the Ultra Ball. 
but I'm thinking of just I'm, I'm on three ultra ball right now I'm thinking of going down to two and throwing one evil incense in there, right? Because your reader's really good at just grabbing an evil incense and you don't have to discard a cast from your hand with the ultra ball to get your big barrel out. Um, oh, we're being money anyway. <laughs> please, please don't give me a terrible hand. I swear, please don't, don't do this to me. <sighs> do you know I've been recording for 18 minutes? 18, 18, right? I'm either being marnied into dead hands, I'm starting really well and they just scoop, and there's no point in me putting it in the video. Um, or I start with dead hands. So it's either I'm popping off, I'm not popping off, or this. For the past well, 80, well, I've, the intro's what, a few minutes long, so for, for the past 15 minutes, that's what I've been experiencing. Yep, yeah, that's the ladder. Alright, <laughs> yeah, thank god. <laughs> I was about to flip my switch, my friend. Okay. Uh, I think we go for. Don't, I don't, don't need Clara right now. We don't need Clara. Um, I think that's the move. Let's get the barrel out. Right. And if I have to call for family, I'm going to attach. I'm going to attach. You know, if I have to do a call for family, so be it. But at least we got a big barrel out. There we go. That's nice. Progress. Yeah, we're going to have to call for family here. Um, I don't mind benching this Bidoof. And we're going to call for family for another... Oh, come off it. No. I should have checked my deck, man. They're going to KO the slum! <sighs> that was my bad. This one's my bad. This one is actually my bad. I'll give it that. I let my patience is thinner. I'm sick, okay? I'm ill. I'm trying to get a video out. I'm trying to have a good time. And the game is just bending me that way and just giving me a whole shebang you know what i'm saying it is just going do you know what no today is the day you don't enjoy the game cheers mate i appreciate it i really do thank you good times hmm okie dokie lapras i guess it is for the time being we can start sniping the bench assuming we we, we get to that position I'm going to overbench. Screw it. I'm going to do it. We need to find cards, bro. I need to find a, a frost buff. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Right, then. Right. Right. Okay. We could put a Pokemon to sleep. I kind of think we should do that, shouldn't we? <laughs> All right. Um, we got Blastoise... We got the heavy ball, so Blastoise is coming out. That's nice. Your prize, that's a bugger. Um, it's a shame you can't get... The heavy ball doesn't get, only gets basics. That's a problem, it. Um, <clears throat> but it is what it is. I'm going to thin the deck down here. Just to increase the odds of draw. Do you know what? I will take you, Luminion, any day of the week, actually. That's not a bad shout. If we could... Oh, maybe that's why I shouldn't have overbenched. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing in my life. Leave it, leave it out, yeah? Should have, should have left that for Luminion, because then we would have just guaranteed what we wanted there. But it's fine. It's fine. Slow start. Slow start for them. We probably still can win. I'm going to try and be a bit more positive. I'm going to try and be a bit more positive. I'm sorry. It's just, as I said, past 15 minutes, I've just been trying to find a game that I can actually play. <laughs> um, and my patience is already a bit more thin and thinner than usual. So move on. Let's play the game. Right. So what we're doing, we're doing Samurott. They are struggling. They're in the same position as me. They've marnied themselves out of the game as much as they marnied me out of it. So at least there's that. <laughs> That's Marnie for you. Just so devastating. <laughs> it's a big gamble. A big gamble. Anyway, there's a boss. Oh, don't you dare say you try and get rid of that bad boy. All right. That doesn't bother me because for some reason you bossed up the one with the air balloon. <laughs> of all things to boss up. Sure. Oh, whoa, whoa. I shouldn't have done that. I need to thin my hand down, don't I? Yeah. That was silly, Sean, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit silly. It's a bit daft. I'll get rid of the energy. That might come back to bite me, but hopefully not. Need to get a Frost Moth out. There's a Nessa. Uh, doesn't do me any favours. I can thin out the deck now with the bucket, which is fine. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. Slowly but surely. <laughs> At least no prizes have been taken. Ugh. 
God, you don't understand. You may you may think this is bottom of the barrel stuff. Do you know why? Because I am at the bottom of the barrel, okay? They have put me there. So like I've chosen to go to the bottom of the barrel. They went, we're shoving you down there and your head is hitting the bottom. I said, I'll move on. I'm moving on. <laughs> I, said, I said, I'll move on. So I'm going to move on. <laughs> um... What do we, what do we, what do we snipe over here? Do I, do I go for a little cheeky escape rope and just try and hit the crowbat? The black one it KO that crowbat. I'd rather hit the samurai. So I think we just go for a splash arch, right? But that makes my hands so busy. So like, it's going to have so much energy in there. You know? Um, no, I know what to do. We're just going to KO you. Listen, if you're dead drawing. <laughs> It is what it is, my friend. <laughs> the game's the game. Uh, we got another Bivaro. That's nice. But now the hand's too big to even use it. They need to take a KO for us to actually play the game. <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, but we've gotten rid of their Bivaro. So there you go. At least I'm not the only one here struggling. Huh? And they're still asleep. Blimey. Blimey. Right. I can't thin my hand out enough. I have way too much water energy in my hand. Way too much water energy. I could go for this and this, but that would reduce my hand to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't even do any of the barrel moves. Who knew, huh? Having too big of a hand is a problem. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is dragging. I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. But the game's the game, bro. Oh, my God. Let me guess. A pass? Or they're going to go for the old moon claim star. <laughs> this is where Arceus shows its true power, right? If this was an Arceus, they'd be out and ready. They'd be hitting me. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what it'd be like. And bro, they've been asleep for how long? <laughs> All right. PDCGO, you did me a favor for a while there. Okay? You gave me that. You let the, let the Crobat sleep for a little bit longer than usual. Much love, bro. Much, much, much priest. Much priest, my friend. And they're going to go and do, what was that, 70 plus poison? <laughs> and then we're just going to do a, a nice 100 on here. And that perfectly sets up the Blastoise as well. Um, which is nice to see. <laughs> oh, God. Just give me a Frost Moth, bro. Give me something. I know I'm complaining, but, you know. Oh, yes. And a read. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now we are moving along. I'm going to get an air balloon because that's was problematic sometimes. I just want... I've already got one in play, but I just want air balloons out, bro. I don't want to be messed about here. Air balloons, please sort me out. Right, I'm just on my thingy. Okay, uh, how long was that? Was that 10 minutes in and the game's begun? <laughs> yeah. Get 100 damage on that Samurott. Love that. And, you know, if they uh, fail to KO me, I can go again. Do a little, do a little switch play. I can do that, that's fine. You know, it's not the end, not the end. Um, if they do KO me, Blastoise comes out, and boom, there you go. But if not, we can keep sniping this bad boy because we are reusing our energy here. So it's not the end of the world. There's a boss's orders again. Man, they are in so much trouble. Ah, I see it, I see it. Okay, thankfully doesn't KO me. <laughs> but it'll be fine anyway because of Anessa. Um, right, <laughs> another switch play. <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're struggling. Whose fault is it, though? Who played the Marnie? Who played the Marnie? Was it me? No. You Marnied yourself, brother. You put yourself in that position. And unfortunately, there's no sympathy in that regard. Let's go for another Splash Arch. And funnily enough, we can... This has just become a Lapras deck now. <laughs> we can recover it with Nessa. And just go again. You know? So, it, this is very unorthodox. I, I can't lie. I've recorded this game first, but I'm probably going to put it second. I want to find a, a game where you actually see the Blastoise. That's the point of the video. This will probably come after that. So if, if I'm talking about things in out of order, that's why. Just a heads up there. Um, just the way to structure my videos. You don't want to you know, come into a video about Blastoise and all you see is Lapras. <laughs> it's cool. So I'll put it in the video. But um, yeah. Just, just for the sake of transparency there. There's the go. There goes the Frost Moth. Well, yeah. They're taking two prizes this turn. That's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. And we need to recover our Slom and Frostnoff and survive another turn. Yeah, that's kind of big. I didn't even see that. 
Damn, two prizes this turn there. Fair play to him. Fair play. You can he, you can he hate it. You can he hate it. All right, we'll get you up. Um, and we'll just start nestering, right? We'll get you down. We can, funnily enough, just poke this bad boy with the Blastoise as well, which is always lovely to see. All right. There we go. So we could potentially get a really strong, like, full prize turn, which would be really good for us. All the Ness is in hand. <laughs> We're going to cover two of you, and we'll recover the energy. Lapras can come after. We may not even need the Lapras next turn, so that's good news. Um, do we escape? No, we. I think we'll we'll let the Crobat do its thing. It depends. If, they, if they've got an energy, they'll retreat and just take the KO. Well, that's fine. Blastoise and Frostmoth, they'll be online. They could go for another boss on the, on the Snom, and that would be problematic. Um, but if they don't, if they don't have that, then it's okay. Ultra Ball for what, a Crobat, I'd expect? If they have Luminion, it's wraps, bro. They're just going to boss this up. Another Samurai. Okay. Not a Crobat. Right, so they're just going to go for the Crobat here, and we actually survived the turn, so that's critical, because we're going to get a one-hit KO on this Crobat. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. So this one's a bit of a slow burner, but it came It came too. It came too. That's a dead on 180 damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we can still poke this bad boy a couple more turns, and it's it's gone. It is gone. There you go. Look at this. This is what I'm saying. This is what I wanted. The Blastoise is there. It's coming out. It's doing its thing. We don't even need to play a support of this turn. Could I a reader for anything? I could have read it to Thin. You know, I don't see why not. The escape probe could be good. I kind of like the balloon, though. No, we'll escape probe. We'll get, we have two in hand. That could be useful. And we're gonna... Yeah, Torrential Cannon for 180 damage. The Crobat is down. And this little bad boy is gonna be down soon. We are finally moving. Come on. There we go. How long that take? Huh? <laughs> oh, I had to waffle for ages just to just to wait until we came. <laughs> oh, we got there. This is the deck. This is the deck operating as intended, which is exactly what I like to see. And if they come and KO this Blastoise, we just respond immediately. And in fact, I would probably go for an escape rope to throw that back onto the bench. I want this being taken out with my pump shot ability. They've scooped. There we go. Lovely, lovely little game there. Right, here is the Blastoise solo deck put into the deck rating system. We're getting to the bottom now. It's going to have to go to another page soon. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go through what we have here. We have the damage potential of 8. Hitting 180 damage, potentially even more is... Sorry, 170, potentially even more, should I say, is very, very, very good. Uh, especially for a single prize, especially for a card that can do some bench damage, can poke on the bench as well with the ability. Honestly, I really like the damage output and the numbers can really work out, um, as you may have seen in that Arceus Pika game. If we could have done the Lapras, that would have been a perfect 100 for a KO. So, honestly, the numbers work out really, really well. And I do like that. So, it is an 8. At the time to damage potential, it is a bit dependent on the on the setup, right? If you get the Frost Moth and, and the um, Big Barrel out, you can very often get turn 2 Blastoise ready to go. Um, but th there's times where it doesn't happen and it can be a bit inconsistent in setting up. Um, so, it's, it's more just about balancing out. The, the ball search and what really is, is the most consistent in that way. I think I haven't really gotten to the bottom of that yet, but I think I'm getting there, I think. So, um, a 6 is going to go there for now. Damage maintenance is a 9. I mean, just, it's the loop, isn't it? It's the Blastoise hit, and then you go ahead, as long as you've got the Frost Morph and the Nessus, bang, it's constant, constant damage output, constant reuse, uh, very low maintenance, as long as you've got the big barrel for search. It, it's just, yeah, yeah, very low maintenance when it comes to keeping that damage going. So, it's definitely a 9, I would say. Not a 10, because it's not something like an Arceus deck that can just accelerate energy into play directly. It does miss out on that kind of stuff, so, you know. Uh, search potential of 6. Again, it depends on the Big Barrel engine. You are reliant on these engines here. Um, and if they're taken out, and if your opponent identifies them and gets rid of them quickly, you can fall apart. So, it really is a setup and win type deck. Um, you know, it, it does struggle with some setbacks, and I think that's where the search comes in. Um, Luminion's good as well, does bring it up, so it's not just a 5, it will go up to a 6 there. Counter ability, a 3. It's a basic basic deck, so it has trouble playing against decks that, you know, deal with the basics. Uh, you're talking Empoleons and stuff like that, even though it's not that crazy against, not that bad against Empoleons, sorry, because we're using Stage 1's abilities primarily. The, um, 
Last story's uh, ability is just a bonus, and likewise with the Articuno. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, if you're playing something like, if you see an Ice Cube pop up somewhere, that can be problematic. Uh, funnily enough, Pikachu VMATs can be a problem, but we somehow managed to make that work. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think we're just lucky there, and I think it just worked in our favor. So, um, there's that. Um, but Manaphy's good to have on our side as well. But other than that, you know, it doesn't really have much else going for it. Um, so, that's, that's why it's down to a three. It's not bad, terrible bad, but it's not got much to it. So, you know, there's that. Um, and also, weakness is not hitting any sort of crazy weakness either itself. And it also is weak to lightning, which is quite a prevalent type. So, those all play a part. And um, HP and prizes are 9. 150 HP, 170 damage with extra 20, uh, um, 20 damage poke. Really, really good for single prizes. So, that's definitely going to be a 9. Um, it's not a 10. 10 is safe for something like a bloody well lord. That's like a HP prize is 10 you know what i'm saying but it is good for being a basic of 150 really really good so overall a rating of 41 um not incredible but also still good still good and still fun i think this deck is primarily fun it's about just enjoying the concept of playing with one card and making it all about that one card uh yes i will be looking at it with greninja soon because you can do it with greninja in fact you can do it with any any um, Radiant card this deck obviously you could do it like Charizard or something like that um, But you j yeah, it's just awkward energy and stuff basically, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, that said that's that's something else. Uh, we'll leave it there. Did you like it and enjoy? Please do subscribe for more and take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Peace Poke X word is a Pokemon puzzle website where you can go and complete Pokemon crosswords and the newly launched guess that Pokemon So if you definitely are interested in having some fun on your downtime and you want to improve your Pokemon knowledge Check out Poke X word link in the description down below. Thanks again for them for sponsoring and take care of yourself. Bye. Bye